So this afternoon, we're going to make uh, creamed cauliflower for dinner. A lot of people call this mock mashed potatoes. It's a healthy, nutritious, low-carb substitute for potatoes, and we just really love it. In fact, we're getting to where we like it more than potatoes. I usually use a large head of cauliflower, but I couldn't find large heads this week, so we're going to use two heads of cauliflower. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go in here and take the leaves off. And then start just cutting up your little flowerettes. So you're cut, I'm cutting up the second head of cauliflower. I just wanted to show you that the core is really delicious raw. You could, of course, cook it and just go ahead and mash it with the rest. But this core is something you can cut up and just eat raw. And it's really delicious and nutritious. So once you get your heads kind of cut up in a uniform or more or less size, you're going to put them in a steamer. And now you're going to steam them until they're pretty soft. So now I've cooked the cauliflower, and as you can see, it's pretty soft. And to that, I'm going to add just a little broth. This is a, a broth mix I get at Costco. It's called Better Than Bouillon Reduced Sodium Chicken Base. There's 76 servings in this jar. This jar will make 19 quarts. Once you open it, you do have to keep it refrigerated. But you just add this broth mix to water. A teaspoon will make, an, will make 8 ounces of uh, broth. And I'm going to just sprinkle in a little seasoned salt. I like Lowry's because there's no MSG. I'm going to add a little pepper. I'm going to add a quarter of a package of cream cheese and a tablespoon of butter. And now I'm just going to mash all this up together, just like you would potatoes. We're not going to really mash it to where it's a creamy consistency, because personally we like it with a few lumps in it. But if you wanted to mash it to a creamy consistency, you certainly could. Like I said, this has become one of our favorite dishes. So after you've mashed it, I'm just going to get another spoon to mix it up a little better. And to this, I'm going to add, oh, about two tables, uh, a tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to mix that up. Got to keep mixing it at least until the cream cheese is mixed in. So now that I've got my cauliflower all mixed up and mashed, I'm going to add some cheddar cheese. I'm going to guess that's about a half a cup of cheddar cheese. And I've diced up some green onion. It's about a half a cup of green onion. You could also add dill to this. But today we're just going to add the green onion and the cheese. You just want to mix this up until you've got your cheese all mixed in. Okay. 
And you could actually have a little more cauliflower in here if you liked. Uh, you could have another head, as much as another head of cauliflower in this mixture. It's really great warmed over, so we usually make quite a bit. Now I'm going to put it in a greased baking dish. And I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. I like to cook it until I can see that it's getting a little brown around the edges. Like I said, you could certainly put more cauliflower in this dish and just keep the same amount of cream cheese and cheddar cheese, but just add more cauliflower if you like. But there, it's just exactly like twice baked potatoes, only this is twice baked cauliflower, or twice cooked cauliflower. So we'll be back when it comes out of the oven. So here we're going to take our cauliflower out of the oven. As you can see, it's nice and brown around the edges. That's the way I really like it. It's been in the oven probably about 30 minutes at 350. And there's our beautiful twice-baked potatoes, only it's cauliflower. <laughs>